Hi everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game, we will need some paper. We will need some writing tools. A colored pen and a pencil will be helpful today. A ruler. Some playing pieces. And, um, oh, maybe a bear. So today's game is Horse Race. And horse race will be fun because it will be a challenging race to see who can get across the finish line first. So let's write this at the top of our paper. Horse race. H-O-R-S-E-R-A-C-E. -E. And over here, let's draw a curve here. Maybe a straight line coming down like that. Another one like that, a straight line. Oh, you see what I can be, what I'm drawing, right? little circle there, an ear and an ear, and how about a flowing mane? And over here, let's draw just a rectangle like this, and this looks like a race flag, a checkered flag. I'm going to make two of them. Good. We're all set up for the game now. So let's take our ruler and a pencil and make some marks. This will help make the course for the race. So using the ruler, let's mark down one side every inch or so. And if you're using centimeters, use every other one, like every two centimeters. But for this one, every inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on this side the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's go ahead and make the lines going all the way across. What I usually do is I start at the point and line up. So let's not go quite through our horse. There's one line. Starting here, our second line, our third line, our fourth line, our fifth line, our sixth line, and our seventh line, all the way down here. All right, looks good so far. So there's our race course. I suppose we'll need some horses as well. Well, let's number them off to start with. I'm going to start right in the middle here, and I'm writing the number 7. And then I'm going to count up. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And counting down. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, not enough room for a one, but actually we don't need a one. We only care about the numbers two through twelve. That's all we need. Now we need to give the horses some names. Let's see, what can we name them? Number two is going to be called Al. Three will be called Boo. And four, Cobb. Five, Dax. Six, called Earl. Seven is called Finn. Eight, Gigi. Nine is called Hal. Ten we'll call Ike. Eleven will be Jill. And twelve will be Carl. I'm sure you can think of great names for your horses. Maybe funnier than mine. Looking good so far. So this game can have three players. So let's see how that might work. We would have somebody who could be copper. We could have somebody who is silver. And I'm going to call the last person donuts. And donuts are washers with holes in them. Three players. And 
we'll need some dice. Now before we begin the race, each player needs to choose the horses they believe might win. So Copper starts by choosing Boo, Silver chooses Dax, and Donut chooses Ike. Copper chooses Gigi, Silver chooses Al, and Donut chooses Hal. Copper chooses Earl, Silver chooses Finn, and Donut chooses Carl. And now we're ready for the game. Now the person who wins will be the one who has the first horse cross the finish line. And that could be silver, copper, or donut. The other way to play the game, a much better way to play the game, is for the person who has all three horses cross the finish line first. So maybe donut gets all three of these horses across the line, or silver gets all of those horses, or copper gets all of those horses across the line. That's a much better game, and we'll see how it plays. Let's try it out. I roll a 10. Guess who gets to go first? Donut. And so Donut's horse leaves the gate. It's ahead of everybody right now. Rolling again. A 6. And 6 is Earl. And Earl is tied now for the lead out of the gate. 3. Somebody chose Boo. So Copper has two horses in the race right now out of the gate. We have a 6. Earl gets the lead right now. Seven. Finn's out. So Silver has a horse in the race. All three players have a horse in the race now. A 12. Carl has this one come out. Carl's out. Donut has two horses in the race. Nine. Donut has three horses out now. First one to have all three horses in the race. Donut's doing pretty well. Nine again. Hal catches up with Earl. Seven. Finn creeps up there, get, catches up with the leaders. Six. Earl takes another move forward. Six again. Earl's trying to win the race. Five. Dax is finally out of the blocks. Six. And Earl takes one more great move forward. Two. Out of the gates is Al. So we only have one horse that has not made it out yet. And this time it's eight. And finally Gigi's out. So this is the game of horse race. Remember, you can play it where you only have to have one horse cross the finish line up here. Or you might make it so all the horses from one player need to cross the finish line. You decide at the beginning of the game. Either way, it's going to be fun. And for this game, you needed to have a piece of paper. You needed to have some things to write and draw with. You needed to have a ruler. You need some playing pieces, some dice, and, um, oh, maybe you needed a bear as well. Hope you enjoy this game.